Welcome, dear friend. In this video, we will be discussing about one prompt to fix chat GPT code cutting episode two. So in the first episode, we discussed, if you have not watched it, go watch it or watch the playlist at the end of the video. So make sure you watch to the end of the video as well, where I've discussed about one of the prompts you can use as a developer when you are using chat GPT it's one of the frustrating things when using chat gpt that you know you're having a code and things is going and then suddenly it cuts midway and it become almost impossible to get the complete part so you should go and watch the first one here is another one because i use this ai tool regularly and that's why if you are new to this channel i welcome i am uh solomon Fuske, and on this platform the aim of this platform, why I funded this platform, AIHIP, is to encourage developers to embrace AI early so that you can then X your development skill and amplify your programming, uh, career and output, your productivity as a developer. Because before what would likely take me three months, six months, even with one or two uh, combined efforts of team of developers, now i finish it within the space of two three weeks so with the help of ai's coding ai so if you embrace this instead of taking your job it will help embrace and multiply your ability so if that interests you that's why you should subscribe tap the notification bell and head straight to our website to start taking free courses about ai development from our uh, courses like chat gpt clone building chat gpt clone and things like that. because when you start building a project like that that's how you will learn and know more about ai development more practical and add it to your portfolio and things like that now back to what we are discussing today which is one prompt to fix chat gpt code cutting if you have been a developer that have tried chat gpt before you should be able to confirm maybe by the time you'll be watching this i don't know but based on the current one token for chat gpt the normal one you are using it which is just 4096 token and the fact that the way the chat bot when you type to chat gpt now the way it type things out by the time that thing becomes longer it will just cut off now let's try this i try to go Let's go to this uh, GitHub with AI chatbot open AI search kit boilerplate, which is the GitHub for this uh, free course with certification. At the same time, this uh, what was built with it, you can see it, an AI chatbot like this that you can chat and pick things. Uh, there, let me check. You can see so you have them here you can create and this so this the repo which is also open source and free for you to use so please if you make use of it don't forget to give it a star it's so important let's try and fill this okay so we have about 11 plus star now let's just try to use one of the samples let's go to server is this server server well, let's use the uh, ui so we'll go to the src out yeah let's use something like this i'm trying to look for a code that is so long yeah this about 200 or 300 plus line good so this is a very good example to use for us let's try and push this back up now copy let's go back to chat gpt please kindly replace every 
occurrence of Let me see my code. We can pick from here. Of messages. Okay. Messages. Wait. Message shot AI shots. So what we mean is you should take this code, change all the anything messages and turn it back. Let's send. So usually okay. You see it now it's trying to type. Because presently, uh, chat GPT seems to have some issue. You can see no chat history, not seeing what you expected here. Don't worry, your conversation data is preserved. Check back soon. So, a lot of things are not working as expected for now. Like this ought to be highlighted, but it's not highlighted. So, we'll just manage it like that. I also want to show you an example if we are able to get something. Once it gets to a level now, there's chances, high chances that this will cut off. Do you see it now? We have this cut off. So even the generating response will not help. So this prompt now, the code caught midway. Please, can you continue the code from where it caught? Don't start over. This is so important because most times when you try to let it give you, it will start over and then <laughs> it is a very frustrating cycle. The same thing will happen because if you start over again, it will end up even coming here or a bit more and still cut off. So. You don't want that. That's why you have to tell it that don't start over. Then I will add the part of the code I have below already. Just continue from where it stopped and cut below with a colon. This is very important. You can adjust it a bit, but what really matters is you want to make sure you are telling it that the previous code it was sending you wasn't completed. It was cut midway. Then after that, you need to continue the code from where it stops and it should not. So once you say that, the best thing you want to do is to go back and from here, wait, and copy everything it said to the point that it cut off and paste it here. Then paste. Sure, here is the continuation. Do you see it now? Now it just continue from this async function and keep going <laughs> do you get the point now so if you like the video and it's helpful you, what's your frustration you have been seeing with things like this let me hear in the comment and make sure you also watch another prompt i review in the first episode of this uh one prompt to fix chat gpt code cutting episode series and if you want me to review more that help me get better results from uh, AI like Shad GPT as a developer, then make sure you subscribe to the notification bell and comment below. At the same time, you need more support, join our Discord. Meanwhile, you should also watch my video on prompt engineering to master how actually I learned to deal with AI like this, no matter the issue, to get the best always from them. So you see that the code is actually so long. You can see it now. So those are part of the issue. You see that the code even still called because it's so long. And like I told you, Shad GPT probably is even having issues. So you can do that again and say it should continue. Paste from here again. From that first one, you paste it. You add the second one to it. And then you tell it to continue from that. And then it will continue. So 
Um, I think I I would try to remember when posting this video to add the uh, precise instruction I use a prompt. So you use it here, but in case, just remind me in the comment and also in the Discord, and I will get it across to you. So if or you can just try to look around in the video and try it out. If not, get in in the Discord and we'll discuss better. So that's it. I continue to share more tips and tricks I personally use as AI Web 2 and Web 3 developer to get better with these AI tools. That's it for the video. I remain Solomon Fuske and always keep the programming spirit high and allow your only assurance to succeed as a programmer in the long run. As well, please always do good to humanity and nature with your programming skill and not evil. Peace and see you in the next video.